think about visual art journals, paintings, assemblages and more? If you like it like I do, then you are right here. Hi, I'm Bea Grob and I love to inspire you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my studio. So glad you joined me today for another video. It is again for the Artsy Trio. The Artsy Trio that is Mike Deacon from England, uh, Gina B. Orange from uh, the US and myself from Switzerland. We decided it is over a year already because we are already on mood board number 16. We decided to do a video collaboration and we also have a dedicated Facebook group, the Artsy Trio. I will have the links down below in the description. And we decided to do a mood board each month. One of us is responsible for a mood board, which we then also uh, have on the Facebook group. So you can work along if you like. It's just if you like. You just can enjoy the videos also. That's up to you. Now, this month it was Mike Deacon's mood board. And um, the first thing that caught my eye is this red bird. And then the orange colors of the lady's hair and this flower here. So I tried to have quite a bit of the colors in. Also, I was struggling a little bit with the purple and the blue because I knew I wanted to do a bird. And of course, I wanted to do a bird that is native to our area, which is a robin. And those European robins are significant smaller than the American robins, just so you know, as a side note. So I decided to work on a piece of watercolor paper because this paper isn't meant to be used with watercolors. It's, it's a slick, rather thin paper. I actually always glue two pages together just so it doesn't bleed through whatever I do. And uh, yeah, I always have scraps of watercolor paper because I buy it on the rolls and then when you cut, sometimes you get weird shapes which you don't really want to use. But it was perfect for this little robin, which I again did uh, draw on an iPad uh, on the Procreate and then uh, did uh, print it on my computer and copy it to, to this watercolor paper with some... Um, copier paper, the wax-free copier paper, not the copier paper you use in the office. I wouldn't recommend that. But in the art stores, there are dedicated uh, copier papers for copying your things. <laughs> so the other thing I have used is, um, obviously I did use watercolors. Mine are mostly Daniel Smith, uh, with an exception of two or three colors. But the rest is all water uh, is all Daniel Smith watercolors, and then I did also try out this new for me Derwent paint pens, and I must say I did like them. They have like different colors. They have like a concrete gray. That's a black. I did use the. I only did use the the black and the white, and I did use the color not the silver. I also have a silver. I did use the graphite for having some lighter areas, but you could do it just with the black and white also. As always, I started by, after I have traced it, I started by outlining a little bit with the graphite pen. And then uh, after I have colored in, I went over and made sure that I have sort of double lines, more sketchy lines, just that's the way how I like it. Now, with no further ado, let's go go to the table and uh, there's going to be a time lapse and in case you like my content I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. Okay, take care till next time.